What appeared to be a relatively uneventful setup ended up producing some of the best storm structure of the year, several tornadoes, intense CG activity, beautiful Mamatis, the works. Early in the period on this day, forecasts suggested a mainly multicellular event with a small chance of supercells. And for a couple hours during the late afternoon, small cells struggled to develop. Like most days just prior to an epic storm event, I was passing the time trying to teach a wild bull snake to associate roads with danger. At 6.35, our struggling cells congealed into a messy multi-cell cluster with two organized rotating updrafts. Here I'm positioned to watch both bases, doubling my chances of seeing awesomeness. And like most of these scenarios, the tail end updraft strengthened and dominated. There it is. Tornado on the ground. This feature is deceptive in that it appears there's a large, powerful tornado developing. But if you watch closely, you'll see the thick gray mass touching the ground is a burst of rain falling through the mesocyclone rather than a column surging upward. Still, rotating winds are sculpting this rain shaft into a wedge shape, suggesting that what we are looking at could be a tornado by definition, but rather a nebulous weak one. Boom! Cranking lightning. Boom! Constant flashes of lightning. Boom. After a couple tornadoes, an intense barrage of cloud to ground lightning strikes ensued. During waves of peak activity, lightning was striking the ground about every two to three seconds. Close one here in a second. And then the headliner took the stage. Unreal sci-fi structure and a beautiful greenish hue presented this wind-sculpted masterpiece. The cell motion was almost stationary and the hovering mesocyclone resembled an alien mothership UFO. Perhaps it was. chatting with a western Kansas farmer one May afternoon and warned him there was a storm heading his way capable of producing tornadoes. He responded, I'll take ten of them. The odds of a tornado striking one's home is extremely small, even in western Kansas. A much more rational threat is drought. Blue skies yield a dark cloud of worry over farmers, for a drought-induced crop failure can economically ruin a hard-working family. The locals near Leota, Kansas got their rain, and as the sun set, they were treated to a magic hour encore of color, followed by a psychedelic light show. 